Detroit Pacers, current leader and soon to be Prime Minister of Jamaica, Comrade Mark Golden. Comrade Saul, big up for yourself. I just want to say a few things and then introduce the leader. I realize something going on in this country. I realize that the government does not intend to campaign on achievements, but they intend to beg it out. Because every time they go to a meeting nowadays, please do not give up on this, please do not give up on that. When time comes now for this government to go, it is no time for the People's National Party. And it is time for the People's National Party because when the people of St. Elizabeth, who they consider the breadbasket of Jamaica, when they ask Mark Gordon and his Minister of Agriculture for help, they will get arable land, they will get irrigation, they will get farm road to their farm, they will get protection on the farm gate, they will get help with subsidies, but when you ask this government for help, you get a donkey as a time come now for the people's national party. I learned a little thing, you know, come and lead up. I learned a little thing, and say so about teach me a little thing called economics. I let say I have a thing in economics named opportunity cost. And I said, what is the best opportunity for God? What is the opportunity that you give up? I said, boy, give me an example. Man said, if you go to shop with one dollar, and you want to buy one sweetie, and you want to buy one pen, and the sweetie is for one dollar, if you buy the sweetie, you can't get to buy the pen. And the money done. That is the opportunity cost. And I realized that. In Jamaica right now, the opportunity cost for the people of Jamaica right now is that you can't buy your medication because you have to buy food. People are suffering under this government. You have elderly people who will decide that they have to buy a little bit of flour, a little bit of rice, and can't get to buy the pressure and the sugar medication. You have mothers who often decide so that they can't send the pig to them to school every day. So they have to send one Monday, one Wednesday, one Friday, like the pig to them, they want shift. And yet still this government wants to come beg, but don't give up. We have given up on this government a long time ago. We want change because we want a government that is going to look out for the interests of the people of this country. And whenever you talk, they feel like they want to rush you. But I listen to come at night, you know, and I realize that I have said the things the wrong way. Because I listen to come at night since night, and I say, but nobody can see me when you talk, so. <laughs> so I realize that I am saying the things the wrong way. So next time I get the microphone, you know, Sheriff, I'm going to practice what you preach. <laughs> But comrades, time come now for us to have better health care. Time come now for people to have good roads going into their community. Time come now for you to stop being in a bad pan and can't turn on and have water running on your pipe. Time come now so that your people can get a proper education. Time come now that you can buy food to put on your table. Time come now that you can afford decent housing Time come now for Mark Jefferson Golden, the president of the People's National Party, and the next prime minister of Jamaica. 